It we was, had a deal, you just come back. This was I not. I said my, my part. Time for you to pay up, bitch. I held up my end of the deal, fast. I did what you want to do. I demand payment. That is not. No! 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 I demand payment now, Nick. I held up my end. Time for you to pay up, bitch. Now. What is it doing? Or I'm telling your girlfriend. Here in just a few minutes, you don't pay up. I'm getting a hold of. Sir, it's being, what I were the terms of the deal? Up. Hey, either that or I show my cock and I get you banned. Which is it, Nick? Now, as one would expect after the last Cyrax video I made, his life has taken a drastic turn, my friends. It's no longer about music and art and fun and games. There's now assassination attempts being taken upon old Cyrax, and he's not having this. And he's going to put a stop to it right now, and the way he's going to put a stop to it is continuing to join the trolls' live streams and yell at them and act like he's making a point. And that's exactly what he did this week. Cyrax got into some shit yet again with Music Biz Marty that's just... It's just, it's just so funny. Last week, Cyrax was going to war with another one of his arch enemies, William Gloryhole. But personally, I don't think anyone can get Cyrax just as wound up as Marty can. And that's exactly the story we're going to watch this week. We're going to watch Cyrax go at Marty, claiming that he's the shooter or that he sent a shooter to his house. And then this all boils down into another situation. Because Marty's main goal in all of this is to get Cyrax back on the stage. But not to do music, not to do art, to do comedy. Because, as many of you may not know, Cyrax is actually a comedian, too, and had his own specials a few years ago called Skull Scratcher Comedy. And, uh, you know, this is just premier shit, you know? It, it's basically like Richard Pryor and George Carlin had a baby, but Pryor smoked too much crack in the nine months leading up to Cyrax's birth, and out popped Cyrax. Uh, you know, that's, he's that good of a comedian. And Marty noticed this, and Marty's been trying to get him back on that stage, and Cyrax isn't having it. And by the end of the story, we'll find out if Cyrax does jump back on that stage or not. But for right now, we need to take it back and watch and watch some rage from last week where Cyrax encountered Marty and just uh, just like usual, thought he was giving Marty the works, telling him what's what. When in all actuality, everyone in the chat's just sitting there laughing their ass off at the the spectacle Cyrax is creating. Hey, if you're gonna try to kill me, bro, if you're gonna try to fucking kill me, get someone that actually knows how to fucking aim, douchebag. This is unreal. Hey, Cyrax. What do you guys say, you fucking piece of shit terrorist? Okay, cool. I found this on the web for us. So, sorry, so that was Siri, and you're muted, by the way. I don't know if you're speaking or not. Oh, no, oh, no, no. Can, you, can you hear me? I can hear you. What are you saying right now, Marty? You're a piece of fucking shit, bro. I'm on your little game, motherfucker. I know what the fuck you're trying to do. You're That's trying to have me locked. You can't have me, motherfucker. You're mad. By the way, that bullet wasn't an ice bullet. That was a bullet that you fucking paid somebody. Well, then where is it? Where is it? Then Shut where is it? Mouth. Shut your mouth, then where you is fat fuck, bitch. Then where is the bullet? Okay. Oh, by the way, jerk off, bitch made. <laughs> There's so much going on here. It's uh, it's so hard to keep track of one thing, but just to give you all in perspective, uh, you know, Cyrax thinks that Marty wants him to get sent away to like a, a mental institution or something or go to jail. He thinks Marty wants him off the internet, and he thinks the reason that is is because Marty has a crush on him, and he feels that if Marty can't have him, then no one can have him, because that's what Marty's been telling him just to fuck around with him. And you know Cyrax, he believes that shit. He thinks it's 100% true. Marty then goes on to try to explain to Cyrax that it is an ice bullet, Cyrax, that's why you can't find it, and Cyrax is adamant that no, 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 it was a real bullet that went through his window, even though he hasn't seen it yet. And then finally we end off with Cyrax really staking his claim, kind of asserting his dominance by trying to show off his bird on Marty's stream in order to get him banned. And you know, he did exactly what he said in the beginning of the video, but sadly this this bird showing was all for naught because he didn't really get it there. But he'll get it in future uh in future appearances. So for all those out there who were really, really anxious to see some Cyrax bird, it, it it's coming. It's coming. Not in this video though. This shit'll get taken offline real quick if I showed that. Hey, Marty, fuck you. Too slow, Cyrax. Hey, too slow. Piece of shit, chew bag. Watch those bags. Too slow, Cyrax. Bitch, mom. 
Too Why slow. Why should I have to fuck in your bitch? Too slow, Cyrax. Hey, I'll always be one step ahead of you, Cyrax. Fuck your family and fuck you, bitch. I'll always be one step ahead of you. You're trying to have me killed, you piece of shit. Where's the bullet? You're trying to have me killed. You tried to have me killed, Marty. Where's the bullet? Because you can't have me, motherfucker. You tried to have me killed. It's an ice bullet. Why? Why did you try to have me fucking killed? Why? I didn't. I didn't. Oh, yes, you fucking did. Stop I lying. Didn't. You tried to have that? me killed because you can't have me. You hired one of your little fucking friends to try to put a bullet in my head. I know where your game is, Marty. I know exactly what you're about. You want to try to have me locked away in an insane asylum all because you can't fucking have me. You're the reason why the cops won't do anything. You're the fucking reason why no one will fucking do anything, bro. Cyrax then goes on to kind of support everything I just said by saying that, you know, you want me and you can't have me, so you want me to be in an insane asylum. You know, he, he repeats the same things over and over and over again. You know, he, he kind of beats the point home. At the very end there, he claims that Marty's the reason the cops won't do anything, it's the reason that no one will help him, when it's like, no. The reason why no other, like, outside people other than the cops outside the house will help you is because the word has spread that you tried to talk to a 14-year-old. Um, and then, when it comes to the cops, you bother the shit out of them. Cyrax calls the cops for any little minute thing. If a troll's me messing with him too much, he's calling the cops, you know? And they don't like this. They don't like having their time wasted by guys like Cyrax who are just complaining about people on the internet. So I wouldn't blame it on Marty as much as I'd say it's just another, another fault of chances for getting the cops completely uh, like on the other side of him. Because there's there's body cam footage with the cops out there where they're like, have you ever seen this guy's YouTube channel? It's friggin' hilarious when they're in the car talking to each other. Uh, the cops don't, don't really fuck with Cyrax, and once again, he's just gonna blame that on everyone else other than himself. Fuck you, boy! Fuck you, you piece of white trash Jew. Let me tell you right now, motherfucker. You make Adolf Hitler look, look like at a Mother Teresa. You make Adolf Hitler look like a saint compared to your ass. Look, you Teresa. damn near got me killed. All oh, for what? Clayton, you fat fuck. Grow up, Marty. Let's this ain't no hot hot game. Can you, you show me? Can you show up, me the window sign? Shut up. Can you show me the window shut sign? Up. Okay, fine. You try to have me killed. You tried to have me killed and you know it. Let's take a look at Stop the window show. Stop fucking lying. Let's take Stop a look at that window show. Lying. Stop lying, bitch boy. What really Stop happened? Lying. Stop lying, know what really happened? bitch boy. Stop lying, white trash. Stop lying. Stop lying, you fat fucking little bitch. You tried to have me killed. Now, I don't even know if Marty ever said that he was the one who had anything to do with this. Knowing Marty, he probably did just to fuck with Cyrax, and Cyrax is taking it this far. But you can see here that Cyrax is like, he is convinced that Marty is the one who sent his hired goons over to try to take Cyrax out. Um, and he's gonna, he, like I said, he's gonna run with this shit. He's gonna sit in his attic, looking red as a tomato, screaming, jumping up and down, and acting like this is gonna do something to yell at the guy who just sent the hit after. Him. You know, Cyrax's perspective on this is a little bit skewed, you know, because he he thinks instead of, you know, trying to hide out, trying to protect himself and his family, stay off the internet for a while, no, I need to get back on YouTube and make fun of how these shooters have such terrible aim. That'll get them. You try to have me too. I know what you're doing. Because you can't have me, you want me either dead or locked away. And your little fucking screenshots. Your Let's little fucking no, the screenshots your girlfriend sent me says it all. Oh, yeah. You flat out said, if you can't have me, you, I can die in a ditch somewhere. Hmm. Pretty odd, Marty. Pretty fucking odd, bro. Well, I didn't say die in your bed. Rat. Shut your mouth. See, Cyrax texts Marty's girlfriend, Saren, and, like, he, he, I guess he spills a lot out to her, like, tries to expose Marty to her. Um, if he was any more intelligent, he'd realize, hmm, maybe I shouldn't be texting, like, you know, the girlfriend of the guy who's always trying to make my life a living hell, because maybe she's not on my side as fully as I think, but he, he'll never realize that. All you do is lie out of your goddamn mouth, bro. I did almost get killed. Over 200 people 
saw the bullet go through my fucking window. Let's see the entry point. If I was laying there, I wouldn't be here right now. If I was there, I'd be dead. Do Can not get that. Shut up. Can we see the entry point? Shut up. What if it was just Shut a rat? Up. What if it was just a rat? Shut up, Nicholas. This ain't no. This What's ain't more like likely? Shut up, bitch fuck. Shut okay. up, fucking white trash. Let's Sorry, what's more likely, a rat triggering a trap? Um, here comes his penis again. All right, no more of that. No more muting, no more penis. <laughs> and there's going to be more muting. All right, deal, okay? Hey, Marty, why don't you stop being a little bitch, you fucking fat? You're mad, Marty. You're mad that you can't have me. Fuck you, boy. Fuck you, white trash, <laughs> you pathetic animal. You're a fuck, dude, you may choose. Look like trash. It just shows the type of person that Cyrax is whenever he's pressed, whenever he's in a corner, whenever he has nothing to say to somebody and he just wants to yell, shut up, shut up, shut up. His only other course of action is to whip out his cock and or, like you saw right there, just scream any type of racial or like slur he can think. Like He'll go from race to race to religion, even if they don't apply to Marty, as long as it's a slur. It, it's gonna hit home in Cyrax's mind. He just, like, there was a little moment right there where he called out Marty and was like, he was trying to do the thing where he always, where he, I don't know if it's Marty's real name or not, I don't even want to dox it, but he says, like, this isn't Cyrax talking to Music Biz Marty. This is Chance Wilkins talking to, and then what he thinks Marty's real name is. But he he goes about saying that, like, he's about to, you can sense it, but he's like, this isn't, this is Shut up, bitch fuck. Like, he, he just starts thinking of, like, m more curses and all the more angry he gets. So he couldn't even get out his lines. That's how you know Cyrax is mad. Like I said, he just, it's nothing but obscenity after obscenity after obscenity. And this is kind of his regular, like, speaking pattern anyway. But man, like, the, the curses are flying today more than I've ever seen it. You think this is a funny game, Marty? Let me tell you right now, bro. You do not realize... That had I been laying there last night, had I been laying there when that bullet hit, I would not be here right now, Marty. I would not be here. Well, let's take a look at where the bullet went the there. So I don't want to hear your excuses, badass. It wasn't I'm a rat. The terrorist. Hey, everybody, Marty's a terrorist. And that video proves it. You want to try to sit say <laughs> that I put it together? Hmm, that's pretty funny. How can it be pre-recorded or clipped together if I was live with over 200 people watching? That's pretty fucking funny, ain't it, Marty? Sorry, well, I got a question for you. If what I want is Skull Scratcher comedy that bad, why don't you just do it? Is it worth living? Is it worth dying over? As I brought up in the beginning, Marty's now going to use this to try to try to get Cyrax to do some comedy for everybody because Marty really wants skull scratcher comedy, and he's going to go to any means he has to get to get that uh, to get that skull scratch. But Cyrax here, you know, he's he's more than convinced that everyone's seen the proof of this. That everyone's seen the proof of the shooting. He's convinced that Marty's a terrorist now, and that that video Cyrax shows shows the proof. When as it's ju it's just it's just the the video we've all seen of the the bed kind of like the blankets on the bed moving up. It's clear that it's just a mouse trap. But in Cyrax's mind, that's enough proof to convince everybody that he was almost taken out. Fuck you, Marty. You're so good. Fuck. You, fuck you, and trust me, I'm not me, saying, Marty, when I get my I'm hands saying, on you, I swear I'm to God, you don't better hold and pray to God, I don't get my hands on you, because when I do, I am beating your goddamn ass, if not, just, if not kill you like you tried to kill me, so trust me, fat ass, I'm not the one to fuck with, you tried to have me killed, you put my life in danger, potentially put my family's life in danger, so you want to come at me, fat fuck? Let's fucking go. Bring your rat. bitch ass to my house. And watch how fast I fuck you up. You want to do it again? Me, no. Shut up. You, you want to do it again? me kill you, little bitch, make fat ass. You. All right, Sarah, I'll tell you what. In the next three to four weeks, I'll give you that opportunity. Are you going to take it this time? How about this? How about you shut your goddamn mouth and tell the goddamn truth that you tried to have me killed? That that shit you're saying about the bullet, that ice bullet, that was really a fucking 20... Bro, that was a fucking 22 
Sounds like we got a third round up, coming buddy. up. Right, right, right now. You want to show up this time? Shut your Trump piece of shit ass you up. You want to show up this time, Tyrax? Shut your fat ass up, bitch boy. I'll take that Don't as a Don't try to have me kill fat fuck. This mm. ain't no game, Marty. You're fucking with real life. So as you can hear there, once again, Cyrax challenges Marty to show up to his house, absolutely not intending to go outside or even do anything if Marty does show up, you know, he can threaten him over the computer, but we all know what would happen if Marty actually showed up again. Who knows, we could be seeing a third Marty shows up to Cyrax's house uh, stream pretty soon, but at, at the end of the day here... He's just doing what he always does and talking out of his ass because he's angry and trying to sound like a big tough guy. But at this point when this is being recorded, I'm pretty sure Cyrax is already all over the uh, the bullet stuff and everything. He's like, I'm pretty sure he was live like a couple hours ago talking about his newest t-shirt design. So Cyrax is, you know, all this raging and all this is for naught because Cyrax just forgets about it hours later as we've come to see in the past too. It was a wreck. But it was a wrap. Because of you, I almost died. Do you not understand that? Let me show you Or you just not care? Let me show you the wrap. Hey, Marty. Suck, suck my cock. Suck my cock, white trash. You can whip your penis out. If the goal is to stay out of the mental institute, is, is this how you plan on doing it? Fuck you. <laughs> you think this is a game, Marty? Fuck you. Fuck I'm... your bitch, mom. Fuck your whore of a mother. Fuck your poor excuse my dad, and fuck your whole goddamn okay. family. You're nothing but a poor excuse. Oh, and to your mom, you're a fucking bitch. Yeah, this is the guy who's always complaining that everyone is after his family. Why do you come after my family? Going after another person's family. And, you know, it's, I've heard Marty say it in streams before, because Cyrax has tried Cyrax has tried many attempts to try to contact Marty's parents to let him know what their, their son is doing with all this trolling online and all this. I assume that's in retaliation to the trolls getting in touch with Sally, Cyrax's grandma, and telling them all about the, the bullshit that Cyrax has been been up to but at the same time marty said before that you know my mom just laughs at you cyrax like you're, you're just a joke and i guess at this point cyrax is convinced now that all right well they're not going to take his side so i better i better just throw some insults at them and then move on you think this is a game marty this ain't no game mm, i think it was a wrap in life you fat piece of shit i think it was a wrap god damn life you hired someone to try to kill me well, guess what? Your shooter has shitty aim. Next time you want to kill me, motherfucker, get somebody that's got good aim. Because clearly your boy sucks. Clearly, okay, well, the boy that you hired fucking sucks. And you are a disgrace to this earth. And Marty, you better hope and pray to God I don't find you, motherfucker. Because I'm telling you right the fuck now, I can't believe you. It's not going to end well for you. Badass. Yeah, see, there he goes again. He's just, he's so clearly shook by this. He wants to try to act like a like a tough guy and act like this isn't phasing him and that, you know, he's going to take down this shooter and take down Marty and go after all these people. But at the same time, he just wants to sit here and try to, like, try to insult them, talking about your boy's got shitty aim, your boy's got shitty aim. And at the same time, you know, any sniper may find it hard to, to get Cyrax. He's very, he's very small. But... It's, it, you would think this is the last thing you want to do if you think your lives of you and your family are in danger to just call out the people who are like threatening to do it and talk about how bad they are at aiming and shit it's just classic Cyrax shit that only he would do you're trying to turn everyone against me including the goddamn cops so you can have your fucking way so you can have your content well guess what fat ass it's Alright, if it, how would I keep having content on you if you were dead? It doesn't make any sense, does it? Hey, murderer, shut the fuck up. Okay, all right. It does make okay. sense. All right. Okay, how? Simple. Your text that you sent Sarah and that she sent yeah, the screen. Those are conflicting you know, points. It makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. Because you can't have me for content, you want to run around and try to make me look crazy as your ultimate exit strategy. Your ultimate exit strategy is to try to make me look crazy so that I get locked away. Oh, so you, you, you think can't you look crazy right now? Fuck your content. You fuck think you look crazy content, right now? Bitch. 
Fuck your channel, pussy boy. Fuck you. Fuck so you, Fuck you, boy. Fuck you, yeah. pedophile supporter. Yeah, we all know that you talk. We all know that you talk with Kate. We all it's know you talk true, with boy. Which makes you a pedophile supporter. See, the levels of paranoia that Cyrax has reached is an absolute all-time high. He's always convinced that these trolls just want him around for content, just want him around so he can go crazy, and he's not going to supply it to them. All the while supplying it to them in, in, in full force, you know? He's given them more than they asked for. He's given all of us more than we asked for. But that's just how Cyrax does it. He wants to sit here and claim that you're, you're making me out to be crazy, all the while acting crazy crazy as fuck on stream. It's just one of those classic deflections Cyrax has. Just look at the end of that clip when he calls Marty a pedo supporter, trying to really, trying to throw Marty out and act like he's some terrible piece of shit, all the while Cyrax is an actual pedo, so, you know, these, these are just the things that Cyrax does. That makes you a pedo supporter, bitch. You're a pedo supporter. You taught the people that distribute to bro. You're a child... Dude, you're a child predator fucking supporter. Wake the fuck the up, man. Wake up, bitch maid. Wake the fuck the up. Or you try to have me killed, and guess what? I will not stop harassing you or your family. I will continue to go after you or your family. And I will continue to do whatever I have to do to fucking expose you. The dude's an absolute hypocrite. When he's mad, you know, he'll do all the things that he cries about people doing to him. He's sitting there telling Marty that he has no problem harassing his family, doing all this stuff. When it's, like I said, I, I already brought it up. He complains about this shit all the time. And then when it happens to him, it's so, it's, it's so traumatizing and all this. But he has no problem doing it to other people. And then earlier in there, too, he just, he keeps talking about, you support masshole, you support a predator. Like, he, he can't get it out of his mind that the person who exposes the predator being Cyrax, uh, you know, they're not the predator. <clears throat> Kate is not a predator for exposing a predator. Cyrax, the one who is the predator, is the predator. So does it make sense, Cyrax? It probably doesn't. It, it, it Just to him, he just probably takes that and is like, holy shit, they're the problem. Like, we've talked about this before. He can never take his own accountability. But, yeah, it's just, you can't expect anything different from this guy. He's just fucking out of it. I want to know why you tried to kill me. I don't give a fuck about anything else except why you tried to have me killed. Why? If I was laying there, I wouldn't be here. Where do you if think you shot there, from? Buddy, I wouldn't be here right now. Do you not realize that? Do you, okay. I don't want to die because of you. Chance, there was no bullet. Give me an answer. There was no bullet. Oh, really, motherfucker? Oh, here comes the penis. There he goes. Okay. So Cyrax ran away, started venting more about how he's his life is in danger, yada yada yada. Never moved his bed, by the way, kept his bed right there by the window, because he can't be fucked to move it even though his life's in danger. And he forgot all about this. So where we go from here is Cyrax's Skull Scratcher comedy show. Because after days of protesting and not wanting to have anything to do with Marty, Cyrax finally went to him with a list of demands. At the top of the list was that Cyrax wanted to be paid $100 per night and he'd do Skull Scratcher comedy every single night. And Marty, who really wanted Skull Scratcher comedy so badly, was elated to hear this. He's like, sure, obviously to get Skull Scratcher comedy back, I will pay you. But what Cyrax presented, the finished product, the, the Skull Scratcher comedy that Cyrax gave him was not the Skull Scratcher comedy of old. You see, because Cyrax once did this to appease the trolls, he did some, some stand-up called Skull Scratcher comedy, and for some reason now it's come back into the trolling plans and they want it, they want it again. Uh, but this time, you know, this time it's not the same. It's not as funny as last time, and Marty's not really willing to pay for an inferior product. Now, can you blame the guy? I can't, you know. When you, when you, when you want something, you want something. You want it right, so you're willing to pay for it. And you're not going to pay for it if it's a, a lousy product. And that's exactly what Cyrax presented. 
And so, the Skull Scratchers comedy show was an absolute disaster. Tomatoes all up and down the chat, nobody was feeling it. And uh, I, I need to walk you through what I was doing at the time. Because you see, I was at Wingstop, and I was thinking like, damn, like I want some wings right now. And so I walked outside to smoke a cigarette because I'm back on them again. Um, and uh, so I'm sitting there. I pull out my phone, I see Cyrax's stream, which he couldn't even spell Skull Scratcher Comedy right, it's like Soul Catcher Comedy or something like that, and I click on it, and I shit you not, like I shit you not, within seconds, this is what I heard. Ah, Smokey MC, you mean the guy that smokes way too fucking much meth and sits on his computer all day, that guy? You mean the guy that pretends to be in a motorcycle club and smokes meth all day? That guy? The guy that sits back like this? I'm gonna fuck with people today. I'm gonna fuck with guys today because I'm lazy. Dude. That guy? Yeah. He's a fucking weirdo. When I tell you the people walking into that wing stop had to just be like, just, just amazed at the sight of this fucking, this high motherfucker, just sitting there, puffing a cig, just laughing my goddamn ass off. Like, I'm sitting there just like, no, no way, like, this little bastard, he, how did he know this? Like, how did he, how did he find me out? Like, how did he figure this shit out? How does he know that me and my boys are planning on riding our hogs to Akron just to smoke some fucking rocks on his front lawn? Like, how did they find that? Like, who told him this? You're exposing my whole shit. But it's Cyrax, you know, he just pulls shit out of his ass, but let's let's break this down for a second. Uh, the guy who smokes too much meth, uh, I smoked meth once, and it was an accident, and we haven't done it since Cyrax, so that's a ball in my court. I don't smoke way too much of it. Guy on his computer, I've told you, I've said it before in these videos, but I don't blame you for not knowing, I, uh, I make all these videos on my phone. And uh, genuinely, I don't even have a computer. I have a laptop, but I never use it. Um, but, I mean, if you're going to say, like, all day on Xbox, I mean, some days on my day off, like, yeah, if I'm not feeling going out. Um, but, like, on my computer all day, no. No, sometimes I'm on my phone all day if work's slow, but no. Nah. And finally, <laughs> the biker one. The biker one's my favorite because, like, I, I think I said it in the last Cyrax video, I, and it's just weird that it's a coincidence that he brought this up now. Um, like, I, I fucking hate motorcycles. I just think they're loud as shit for no reason. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, like, in, in video games, like in GTA and shit, you'll always catch me on a motorcycle. Like, one of those, like, the, the sports bikes and shit. Um, but, no. In real life, I'm, I'm not about motorcycle Cyrax. Uh, <laughs> Like, I, I know where he got it from, like, because my name's Smokey MCC, he just saw that as Smokey MC, so he's like, oh, Smokey Motorcycle Club, like, that's, I know exactly what this guy's all about, you know, um, it's just, it's the first thing he thinks about, you know, uh, we talked about it in the last episode, he said that he was raised on three things, mosh pits, bikers, and military personnel, so that anyone who knows bikers, it's Cyrax, and he fucking, he spotted me out from a mile away, but hey, who am I to say Cyrax is wrong, he's usually a great judge of character, um, but... I just wanted to just wanted to clear the air there in case in case anyone thought that I was just you know rolling down the highway at night with my meth pipe in my hand just <laughs> just on a run from the law now. But yeah, Skull Scratcher comedy was really just Cyrax throwing some weak insults at people. Um, it wasn't like a mean spirited Cyrax. Like it's funny. It's funny to think that Cyrax calling someone like a meth head and shit like that, calling them a fucking weirdo. Uh, that's that's a tame Cyrax, you know, because we, as you've seen from earlier in this video and from many other videos, Cyrax can get pretty out of hand, and that's exactly what happened when Cyrax found out that Marty was not planning on paying him that hundred dollars. Because if you thought Cyrax was angry in the beginning of this video, this shit's about to, it's about to get turned up to like fucking 11. Hey, Cyrax. Good money, Nick. I did the show. Sorry. Where's it at? No, where's the money, Nick? You did a show. No, no, we made a deal. I did the show. 
pay up. The deal was for pay up. the deal was pay for, up. Pay up. There was no deal on your end. I made the deal. I do the motherfucking show. You fucking pay me. That was the deal. I did my show. I did an hour long show. That was not I Skull expect- Scratcher comedy. No, shut the fuck up, Nick. You are going to pay me right the fuck now, or I am going to the police in the morning and I am filling them in about our verbal agreement, and you are going to be made to pay me up. Or maybe I'll even do one better. Maybe I'll let your little girlfriend Sarah know what kind of a slime ball backstabbing, no deal holding out bitch you really are. He's always so quick to go to the cops. I mean, obviously this was like a legal binding thing. Cyrax will be required as payment. But this is just a fucking agreement he made over like a phone call. And and what's even funnier is he says, like, you know, there was no deal on your end, Marty. Kind of just already saying that, you know, oh, well, I guess you never agreed to this. But he's already starting to do it now, and you're going to see him try to do it more and more as this phone call goes on. But he acts like just the louder and the deeper he makes his voice, the more in charge he sounds. Like, he thinks he's tougher than everybody. And he thinks that, like, he's going to bully these guys, and he acts like the trolls are scared of him. And he wants it to be that way, but he thinks the way to do that is to just act intimidating and scare them over the camera as if Cyrax going to jump through the computer screen and just grab Marty. But, um, like I said, it never works for him, but in this call, you're gonna see, like, he really, he really tries to, like, act like a real tough guy here, and it always fails miserably for him. Sorry, so what's gonna be next? This no, was not school scratcher next? comedy. Be it simply there? wasn't. Shut the fuck up, Nick. Shut up, Nick. You're going to pay me, or I am going to come after you. Well, what were, what were the terms clear? of the deal? You are going to pay me, or I am coming after you with the police. What were the terms we of the deal? Shut up. We had a deal, Nick. What was the deal? We had a deal, Nick. What was we the deal? We had a deal, Nick. We had I a agree. deal, Nick. We had a deal, Nick. We had a deal, Nick. Do I have to keep repeating myself? Do we, we had a deal, Nick. Well, what was the deal? You're going to pay me right now. No bullshit. You're going to pay me right the fuck now. Or by this time tomorrow night, I will have the police at your front door for you doing what you fucking did. What we was the deal? We had an agreement. I held up my end of the deal, fat fuck. Now pay me or you're going to get fucked. But well, what was pay the deal? Pay me or you're fucked. Pay me or you're fucked, loser. Pay me or you're fucked, loser. What's your PayPal? Pay me or your life is done, loser. Pay me, Marty. What's your PayPal? Pay me, Marty. Pay up, Marty. Pay up, Marty. What's your PayPal? Pay up, Marty. Pay up, Marty. Pay up, Marty. Pay up, Marty. I'm trying pay to ask up, you how to pay, pay you. Up, Marty. Pay up, Nick. 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 Right now, Nick. Right now, Nick. I'll tell your girlfriend, Nick. I'll tell your girlfriend, Nick. Pay the fuck up! What's your What's your PayPal? What's your PayPal? It's like he's just sitting there with his fingers in his ears, yelling the same thing over and over, acting like he's going to listen to me, he's going to listen to me, he's going to do it, I'm not listening to anything, I'm not going to say anything else but this, I'm just going to keep repeating myself, and eventually that money's going to be in my PayPal. Um, also, if you're confused as to why he's saying Nick, 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 uh, that's, I think, the, the name he thinks that's like Music Biz Marty's real name. But, I mean, yeah, you can see he's 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 angry about this one today. And I have a theory on this. Now, it's, it, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. And by the end of the video, I'll you'll, you'll really see why. Because I think the end of the video will show a little bit of evidence to that. Not really, though, because he, like, it's, it's just classic Styrax shit. And we'll get to it eventually. But I think the reason he's so adamant on getting this money this time more than, like, ever is because, like, finally, maybe Sally and Ed were like, yo, like... You need to start making money somehow. Like, this is fucking ridiculous. Like, you're just sitting up there all day. Now, obviously, he's been doing this for years, and I'm not going to give them to enough credit to think they, they would do that because they, they never do that. But, um, you know, just the way he's freaking out, and like I said, something we're going to look at later, uh, I, I really think maybe they were like, yo, like, you really need to get money, and Cyrax saw this as his ticket to get some money, and now that it got taken away from him, he's fucking pissed. Right now, I expect payment. I expect my payment. I, I expected school scratcher comedy. I held up my end of the deal. I held up my end. Time for you to hold up yours. But Unless you're scared to hold up your end of the deal. You didn't Nick. hold up your end of the deal. Unless you're not the... Unless you're not the businessman that you claim to be, you're gonna hold up your end of the fucking deal, you didn't, or the whole world's gonna, or the whole world's gonna know what fake you really are. You didn't hold up your I end of the deal. I held up my end. 
What was the deal? What was the deal? What was the deal? What was the deal? I'm waiting right now. You send that money over or so help me, God. I will go live right now and I will make sure the whole world knows that you did not pay me. So either pay up or you're going to get embarrassed by me. <laughs> he's fuck. He's growling at this point. Like he's really, he's just trying to hit it home. That, like you should be scared of me. Like, are you not hearing my voice right now? Like, woo, like you, I should, there should be chills running down your spine with the fucking, the, the, the heavy, the heavy words that Cyrax is throwing at you, you know? And, uh, it's just not affecting him and Cyrax can't comprehend that. Like, it's fun. it's sad, but it's funny when, like, Cyrax always talks about, like, how, like, all these trolls need to get a job, and, you know, he, he works online, he works on Twitch, he's a live streamer. It really is like Marty's the only boss he's ever had, because, you know, all these jobs Cyrax ever done, the Skull Scratcher comedy, like, all the times he's gotten fucked over by Marty, and he always goes back and does it again like this, uh, it's just, Marty's the only one who's ever given him direction, given him jobs now granted marty's fucked him over every single time in the end but it's really the only time cyrax has really like had an employer of a sense you know what i'm saying so Mar marty marty's essentially the only the, the the boss of cyrax like he's cyrax's boss like he's the ceo of cyrax and um and cyrax just he always falls for it he always goes back to, to Marty every time. Every time he gets laid off, it's right back to Marty's workshop. And he'll he'll never leave. He'll never get out of it. Sorry, Alex. So I would say that no, you didn't hold up no. on the deal. Pay up. Pay up. But you, no. you didn't hold. The deal pay was an up. hour tonight. No, an hour no. tomorrow night, this actually. Is the this is a demand. Of school. You pay up now or I will embarrass you to death, Nick. I will embarrass you right now in front of the whole world. So pay up or you're getting embarrassed. And I'll tell your girlfriend how you backed out of a deal like a bitch and how you screwed me over. And I don't think you want that. I feel like I got so screwed over. pay up right now or I'm easily going to embarrass you. I don't know why he thinks telling a guy's girlfriend that, like, he didn't pay me the $100 that he owed me. He's a bad businessman. He's a liar. He's a cheat. You know, if I told Miss Smokey, yo, I just scammed some fucking asshole out of, like, $100 to, to, to do a comedy show for an hour, she'd be like, oh, sick, we got an extra $100 on us. Let's go. So pay up, Nick. But you didn't no, honor your... You did you, not you honor your... So, okay. You got 10 minutes to pay up. Let's talk about this. <laughs> Minute. Let's talk about this. Up. I agree. I agreed to pay. If you don't pay, if you don't pay in ten minutes, I'm calling your girlfriend. So pay up now, little boy. Pay okay. up now, bitch, well, or I'm calling your girlfriend. Well, what pay are, up. What are you gonna now, say? I'm calling your girlfriend. What are you gonna say? Okay. It's so funny to me that Cyrax wants to expose Marty for being a bad businessman, you know? He's going to go live on his stream and embarrass Marty in front of the world by exposing this this damning evidence that he has that Marty's a bad businessman because he didn't pay Cyrax. Um, but the thing is, in other times, Cyrax claims to know that, you know, you're not really part of the music industry. You're not fucking this. You're not that. But he still thinks that Marty's going to be like, oh, no. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, you're telling everyone that I'm a terrible businessman? Like, all these people in the chat that are here to support you and all these people in the chat that obviously will get the word out there that I'm a terrible businessman. Cyrax does not realize that everyone in his chat is there to fuck with him. He thinks they are all adoring fans just in all of his rock presence. We was, had a deal, you scumbag! This was not... I said my, my part! Time for you to pay up, bitch! I held up my end of the deal, fat I did not, what you want to do. I demand payment! That now. was not... Now! 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 I demand payment now, Nick! I held up my end! Time for you to pay up, bitch! Now! What is it doing? Or I'm telling your girlfriend here in just a few minutes. You don't pay up. I'm getting a hold of Sir, so what I were the terms of the deal? Up. Hey! Either that or I show my talk and I get you banned. Which is it, Nick? Pay Whatever up. Whatever right you care, but this. You 
Like, oh, was, yes, I did, fat fuck, little bitch made fuck boy. You did not. I, uh, you did hey, not. suck my cock, lover. Suck my cock, you loser. That shows you ain't a good businessman. That shows you ain't doing shit. You're a bitch. You don't hold up your end of the deal. Here, you want a skull scratch? Here you go, boy. Here you go, bitch. You happy, bitch? Fuck you, Nick. Where's the voice? Fuck you. Hey, you crazy Fuck bunch you. of weird Fuck you. Fuck hey, you. you crazy Fuck kids. You. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hey, Fuck you crazy bunch you. of weird Fuck you. Yeah, I think that officially broke him. Like, like, like he's been broken before, but that really, like, that, that was one intense freak out from Cyrax. You know, you got the skull scratch and you got everything there. That really drove Cyrax up a fucking wall. <laughs> he, uh, I, I don't even really know how to sum that up. He's just, he's an angry little bastard. Not getting that hundred dollars really is, is, is sticking to him because Cyrax claims to make like a lot of money. He, he said before in streams that he makes like easily two hundred dollars a day. But for some reason, this particular one hundred meant the fucking world to him. And it gave him this type of freak out. And it's one that you see every once in like a... Uh, a blue moon. Uh, I don't. I don't know how long that comes around. Actually, so maybe every six months, every maybe four to five, maybe six months, and uh, it, it was a beauty, ladies and gentlemen. You can hear Marty even snickering at the end because even he knows, like, oh shit, like that was that was that was a doozy. That one right there, that was a big one. Um, but Cyrax, you know, if you think, oh god, he's this angry, like the poor guy, he's 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 got to be going through so much. I feel so bad for him right now. He must be suffering so hard. Well, it's okay. Next time you go to pick your fucking battles, you dumb bimbo bitch. Next time, go against somebody that's not untouchable, like me. I'm untouchable. You can't do shit to me. Anything you can even remotely try to do, not gonna work, bitch. Because, like everybody knows, you drag me down to the pits of hell. Well, guess what, bitch? I made hell my home a long fucking time ago. Yeah, you may have drugged me down to the pits of hell, but guess what? I kicked Satan's ass, threw his bitch ass out, and I took the fuck over hell, bitch. You fucking heard me. I took that shit over, and now I run the bitch. So, oh God. So, let, let me get this straight. Cyrax is Satan... Or the new Satan, the ruler of hell. Chris is God. Chris Chan is is God himself. So you know these two locales are now the, the the evil and the goodness of the world. Just two, two. I, oh, I don't know. I I never know with Cyrax. It's a different thing every day with him. Like it's just like playing his guitar, complaining about the trolls, acting like his life is in danger. Like, next thing you know, he's going to want to leave YouTube again. Fuck, here we go. What's up, guys? So, I know I just did my last stream a little bit ago. But, I wanted you guys to know that starting tomorrow, I'm not going to be on here for a while. A long while. Uh, my stepdad's going into surgery starting tomorrow. So, so firstly, he's not going to leave YouTube again. I, the over under, I don't know what you guys wanted to put. I would, I would say, I would give him till tomorrow at eight o'clock. And so at the end there, he says that Ed, his stepdad, is going into surgery tomorrow. And now, like I said before, when, when his grandmother had the supposed stroke, he didn't do anything. Like, obviously, he just sat there, kept doing what he always does. But earlier in the video, I brought up that maybe Sally and Ed finally said you need to get some money. And maybe this is the reason why. Because Ed's going to be out of work for a while, and they're really telling Cyrax, like, look... Like, look, dude, like, like you gotta act, you gotta do some shit. Now, like I said, this is, w I'm giving them way too much credit here. I know people in the comments right now are probably telling me, like, dude, you're, like, they're, they did not say that. They probably didn't. They really probably didn't. But it's just a theory. Because, you know, that why I'm untouchable video, like, that was literally 
30 minutes before the other stream of him saying he's going to leave the internet forever. So, and in, at the end of that Why I'm Untouchable video, Sally comes in and says something to him. Glory Hole has a video of it up. His channel will be down in the description below. Um, but, like, I, I really do think that maybe for once they were just like, yeah, can you try? Can you try? And he's he's not going to. We all know he's not going to. But as of right now, like, that's that's just a theory I'm throwing out. But obviously, do I think he's leaving YouTube? Fuck no. He'll be back within the next few days, if not tomorrow at the soonest. And yeah, if he doesn't come back, the trolls will find a way to drag him back. It's just the, the cycle of Cyrax, my friends. And at the end of the day, there's really no point to this video. The point was just to show you some, some angry-ass Cyrax moments from this uh, week and the week beforehand. And I hope you guys had fun laughing at them just like I did, because that little fucker, he, he gets angry. And, and it's always it's always at the it's always directed at one of the trolls. Sometimes it's Marty, sometimes it's Masshole, sometimes it's fucking William. I wouldn't even consider Masshole a troll. She's just the person who exposed him for being a pedo. Um but yeah, it's always one of them and this week it happened to be Marty and you know, I'll have Marty's channel down in the description below. Go go give him a sub, go go show him some love. Uh, all these funny ass Cyrax videos mostly come from his channel. So like, like you gotta go down there, all the gold's there. A lot of you guys ask me in the comments where do you get these videos, either there or William Glory Hole's channel. If Cyrax deletes streams, uh some channels re upload them. There's a channel called Bustin' Gently. Uh, I'll have him linked in the description below. He always re uploads Cyrax stuff. There's there's tons of good channels out there if you want to watch this little fucker freak out, and the content's there. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this. It's, uh, it's always fun doing these, always fun covering Cyrax, but hey, you know, if we're having it Cyrax's way, this could be the last Cyrax update video for quite a while. Like, quite a while, he might be gone forever. Little Aaron Hernandez running into the sunlight. But, as always, I want to give shout-outs to Vanessa, Club Doom, Cody Hale, Echo Spectre, Scaly Schisms, Pythea, Your Mom, Krabby, Kaitan, Fiendland's Party Place, Churlish, Mick Surly, Grant M, Adrian Lara, Chris Chan's Fanta Bottle, Cyrax's Stylus, Music Biz Marty's Bong, Sky Fitzpatrick, G-Man, Blake Austin, Vaga, Alright, Stingy, Isaiah, Akiba's Beat Fan, The Ghostbusters Fan, Commander Louie, Gypsy Pauls, Trademark, Justin S, Steve from Machete Squad, and Chef Meme Maker. You guys are all fucking goats. And everyone who made it this far, you're a goat as well. These Cyrax videos are usually longer than my other ones just because you know, I always have so much to say when it comes to the Goblin. And I know a lot of y'all hate the commentary uh, breaks when we go into talking about that, but I think that's the way that Cyrax can't flag these videos down because I'm pretty sure if he wanted to take them down, he'd be, he'd be gunning for it. Uh, <laughs> he hates when people talk shit on him, as you can see. But, you know, it's just, it's just the, uh, what today? what's today? I already forget, I'm so high. It's Tuesday now, Tuesday, and the week will fastly, it, before you know it, Friday will be here, you'll be getting home from work, shit will be chilling, and, uh, and that'll be that. But you just gotta, you just gotta hold out, my friends, just work your hardest, and hopefully work's a little easy this week, and, you know, before you know it, the weekend will be here, and that's gonna be that, you're gonna be smoking a fat one or drinking one up. Uh, you know, just just doing you, and that's that. So I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, take care, guys. I'm out of here.